Hi, welcome to Brill Recommends. Uh, my name is Darby. I'm a adult services librarian at the Nanaimo North Branch of Vancouver Island Regional Library. And today I wanted to share three books with you that are totally epic. They're sweeping, they're stunningly written, uh, the imagery and characters stick with you, and they're really meaty books. I've read them all in the last four years and they're ones that I still think about in different ways every so often. So my first book is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Um, there's a scene in this book with a can of peaches that I think of every time I eat peaches that I've canned. This book um, takes place during World War II and it follows Marie Laure. She's a uh, young blind girl in Paris and Werner and he's part of the Reich and um, the ways that they intersect and um, their lives, it's just just, just beautiful um, and horrifying, but beautiful. It took uh, Dor 10 years to write it, which I totally believe the, it's just stunningly um, paced and presented. And I um, also like that it is, um, it spans Marie Laura's sort of life too. It got a national uh, or a New York Times Best Book Award and was a National Book Award finalist. And it's also a favorite amongst library readers. It still has holds on it it's from 2014. Um, it's a, like maybe the only book my entire book club liked too, which is very notable. And it's available in all formats, including large print, ebook, and e audiobook, if you're a different format reader. The next one is City of Girls. This is the only Elizabeth Gilbert book that I've ever read, um, but it's got that epic feel as well. Uh, she, it's fun, like the, I think the feather says it all. Um, extremely beautiful craft in writing it. And uh, it follows Vivian in the 1940s as she's sort of coming of age. Um, she gets shipped off to New York by her wealthy parents at, and gets to uh, experience life at the Lily Playhouse. She's an amazing seamstress, so that's kind of her role there. It's thrilling, it's fun, it's serious and important all at once. And I'll just share a little part here. At some point in a woman's life, she just gets tired of being ashamed all the time, Vivian muses. After that, she's free to become whoever she truly is. So that's City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. My third book is By Gaslight by Stephen Price. It is also it's physically pretty meaty. <laughs> uh, one of my book club members recommended it to me and she said, she's like, oh, I love it, but it's too heavy. And I was like, put it on a pillow on your lap. So I'm telling you to put it in a pillow on your lap so you don't need to hold it up and make your thumbs sore because this is worth it. It's set in Victorian London and uh, it's got Pinkerton detective agency in it. It's got it's sort of um, different identities and aliases. It spans three continents. Um, yeah, Stephen Price lives in Victoria, which is really neat. And he also writes poetry, which does not surprise me because this book every once in a while, I just have this, these images from this book of the gaslight uh, lamps in Victorian London with all the fog and the pollution and things. Um, it describes some of those Victorian things in ways that are just, just achingly beautiful. Um, so it's, it's a really, really worthwhile book. Uh, I actually read it as an ebook. Uh, it's available in print and as an ebook. And uh, Giller Longlist, Global Mail Best Book. So please enjoy one of my super meaty titles. They're all a bit hefty. If you are looking for something utterly absorbing, these, these will do the trick. Thanks so much.